Hello guys, Dusty here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sign up and set up your Google AdSense account. I've done an older video on this, but I want to update it for 2018 and moving forward. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you need to understand is uh, first off, what is Google AdSense? Google AdSense is the ability to uh, run ads via Google purchased ads on your website, your blog, uh, things like that. Now I will say this. YouTube ad revenue and Google AdSense are completely separate now. You can't monitor your ad revenue on AdSense. You can't look at it. You can't, it's, it's in no way related. So all of the money that you're going to be making from your YouTube channel will be able to be seen on your YouTube analytics, not via your Google AdSense dashboard. So make sure you understand that. So we're going to need our email address, our URL of our website, and you're also gonna need a way for Google to pay you. Uh, again, all of that's going to be dependent on the country that you are in. If you're in the United States, you're gonna have different uh, abilities to accept payments as opposed to if you're in a different country. So let's go ahead and start the process. So obviously you're gonna need a website. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my website, dustyporter.com here. And next you wanna go ahead and enter your email address. So go ahead and type in your email email address here. Uh, and then once you're ready to go, you can uh, get helpful AdSense info at that email address. I recommend clicking yes, this is not very spammy. It's very helpful actually. And then once you finish this page, go ahead and click save and continue. Uh, once you've hit save and continue, it will log you into your Google account. Uh, this is so much easier if you have a Gmail or a Google related account. You can do it the other way if you have a separate email address, but it's much more convoluted. Highly recommend using a Gmail or Google account. So uh, if all of this information is correct, your name, your email, the URL of your site, which is what we just typed in, leave that there. Select your country or territory. This is extremely important as this is very much related to you getting paid. So you you need to make sure that uh, you enter in and input the correct country or territory that you're located. Again, all of the different things in this video are going to be relevant to you no matter where you are in the world, but there may be a few options available for your country that isn't for others. So remember that. Go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and click create account. Now, here's a couple of things to kind of frequently ask questions that you guys have asked me before about AdSense. Number one, uh, you have to meet the payment threshold. You have to meet the payment threshold in order to get paid by Google. So for the United States, that number is $100. Until you reach that threshold, you will not get paid, okay? You will not see any type of money from Google until you reach that threshold. The next thing is you must be 18 years old or above. So when it comes to running Google ads or setting up an AdSense account, you need to understand that you need to make sure that you are above the age of 18 or your parent signs up for you and then they can deal with that later and give you the money, however they wanna do that. So 18 years or older and you also need to reach the threshold of $100. So go ahead and get through the quick start. It's gonna let you know kind of a little bit more about it if you wanna do that. Go ahead and click get started there. Next, we're going to be able to enter in our information. It's going to say payment address details. Now, this is going to be the information they use when they go ahead and send you or release the payments for you. So this is very important. You need to put your real name, you need to put your real address, that kind of thing. Now under account type, we're gonna see something here. Uh, we can click the pencil and hit the drop down menu either you're an individual or you're a business. So if you're an individual or a hobbyist, you know, you do this here. If you're just starting a blog up, this would be you here, individual. If you are a business or an LLC, then you need to click business. I'm gonna do individual for this one. Name and address. My name, Dusty Porter. Address line will go right here. City, state, zip code, phone number. And then once you've entered in all of your pertinent information here, make sure it's correct, make sure you spell check it, click the blue submit button down below. I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in and see you on the other side. All right, and then once you've entered in your account information, your payment information, it's going to say connect your site to AdSense. So it's gonna tell you that you can actually use the following code or this code here, it's called HTML code, and you can put that on the back end of your website. So you can go into your website if you know how to get into the HTML tags of your site and copy this code between the head tags in your HTML code, and then that will allow Google to verify your site. So basically, it doesn't matter you know, if you're a WordPress user, you can do it one way. If you're a Squarespace user, you can do it another way. Just Google how to get the AdSense code on your site. So go ahead and copy that code, paste it in your website, and then click done, just like that there. 
Then it's going to say activating your account. I said it usually takes a little under a day, but that's kind of what you want to do. And if you need to come back, you can always go back, show that code and do it that way here. Now, remember when you're setting up an AdSense account, it's important to understand, uh, you know, those things that I told you earlier about the threshold, about having to be a certain age in Again, you need to make sure you're copying this code, putting it on the back end of your website. That way Google can go and verify your site because if, if you're not you know, going to be able to verify your account, then you're not gonna be accepted into the AdSense program. So that's kind of how it works. Now I'm gonna hop over to my normal account and show you how to manage your ads and how to do things like that. All right, guys, I've signed up for another AdSense account for the purposes of this video so I can show you how to kind of run your ads, how to optimize your ads, and how to basically take a look at your analytics. So um, once you've been verified, once you've copied your code, put it on the back end of your website, Google sends you an email saying you've been verified, there's a couple of things you're gonna want to do first. The first thing you wanna do is go to the Payments tab here, click on Payments there, and then underneath the Payments tab, you're gonna see a few different things. You're gonna see your earnings, you're gonna see some transactions, and then you're going to see how you get get paid okay so under this one here under manage payment methods you need to make sure you click on manage payment methods right here and you add a payment method so go ahead and go to add payment method and then go from here if you're in the United States uh, you're going to be able to choose a bank account either a savings checking or business you'll need the routing number the account number and do that that will need to be verified once you save that Google will send you a couple of small payments of a few cents each you'll need to verify that and then you'll be able to get you know receive payments to that bank account. Many people ask me, can I get sent money by Google via PayPal or Stripe or something like that? As of right now, no. Google says they're working on trying to accept more forms of payments, but right now it's only via a check account. So right here you can see, add a payment method, add a bank account, do all the information and then go from there. Next, you wanna click the settings icon or the gear icon underneath payments. This will allow you to go through, make sure you have all of your information correct as far as your personal and your account information. All of this needs to be up and running. And in order to see if you have been accepted or your site has been verified, go to my sites, it'll show a overview here. And then if you see a green check mark by your site right here, you will then be able to understand that yes, I can run ads on that specific site and it has been verified. So that's kind of how you do that. Next, let's go to home. Click on the home button again. This will take you to your dashboard. It'll show you the performance of your ads. It'll show you how much you've earned so far, how much you earned yesterday, how much you earned this month, previous week. All of that good stuff will be here on your dashboard on the home link. Next, we're gonna want to go to my ads. Under my ads, you're gonna be able to see the different types of ads that you've created, the different sizes of those ads, as well as the ID and if they're active or not. So in order to create a new ad, basically, all you need to do is click this little addition symbol that says new ad unit right here. Once you've created a new ad unit, uh, basically you can decide what type of ad you want to run. Do you want to do a text ad, a matched content ad, uh, in feeds ad, or in articles ad? I recommend starting with the text or display ads feature. Click that one there, and then you'll be able to kind of see, oh, is it going to be a responsive ad that kind of adjusts with its, you know, the, the way it's being viewed? Do you want it to be a leaderboard ad, which is like the ones that are at the top, like you see here? Do you want it to be a rectangle? Do you want it to be a mobile banner, a skyscraper. So choose the aesthetics of your ad, give your ad a name. So uh, name the ad up here. So say name ad one up there at the top, uh, and then choose the type of ad that you want. Recommended is the responsive ad there. That one's actually a, a very good one there. Um, and then down below, go to save and get code, and that will give you the code for that ad. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do before you do any of this is make sure that you go through here like and, and change the colors and things like that to look really good on your site. But when you're ready, when you've got the ad the way that you want, go ahead and click save and get code, and it's going to produce another uh, string of HTML code for you, and that will need to be copied and then pasted on the back end of your site. Uh, if you're using WordPress or Squarespace or Wix or one of the big platforms like that very very easy to just copy this code paste it over there as a widget and it works like that if you want to see kind of what one of my ads looks like um, you can just kind of click here uh, I'll click one of my ads here and you can see one that I like to use is the banner ad here and then I can put that wherever I want it 
over on my website. Again, you don't really have control over what that ad shows, except for the fact of Google begins to learn what your site is about. And then hopefully you hope and cross your fingers that the ads will that, that are running on top of your website will indeed be relevant to your content. So again, you got your ads here, you got ad styles there, and then you can go to performance re reports and then optimizations at that point. But that's really it, guys. That's how you set up your AdSense account from start to finish and then start running ads. All right, guys, and the last thing I wanna show you is how to link your AdSense account to your YouTube channel. So there's a couple of things that are way different now than they were a few months ago. So you need to make sure that you understand exactly what I'm about to say. So first thing you need to do is go over to your creator studio, click your profile image in the upper right hand corner, and then go to creator studio right here. And then once you're there, you're going to want to navigate over to where you see channel, click on the channel link there it has the little, uh, the little profile of a person there, and then go to monetization. So once you're there, go to channel and then make sure everything is eligible right here under monetization go ahead and click on enable the button that says enable there then it's going to say um, account status monetization is not enabled obviously because I'm showing you how to do it but you need to understand that just recently YouTube has changed the partner program to where you now starting next month March of 2018 you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time in the previous 12 months and a thousand subscribers to even apply so this is the application where you do that. So the first thing you need to do is read and agree the YouTube partner program terms, which is what we just did. So click start there. Make sure you go ahead and click that I agree. I will not opt into uh, any of that there. Uh, and then go ahead and click I accept. And then once you accept the terms and conditions, it'll say then you need to sign up for AdSense. Well, we just did that. Uh, so you can click that button there. It'll either say start. If you click the start button, it'll take you to your AdSense profile and it'll just say, hey, do you want to link them? So go ahead and click start like you see there. And then it's going to say you will be re redirected to AdSense. So if we click click next, like now, it's going to ask you to then log into your AdSense account. I'm not going to do that because there's no need in showing you that. Basically, it's just a couple of clicks and you've linked up your AdSense account and your YouTube channel. And then the final thing to do to make sure you can start running ads on your videos is again, reach those thresholds of a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. And also go ahead and start monetizing your videos. In order to do that, go to your video manager, go to edit, and then once you're there, click the monetization tab here and then click the checkbox here that says monetize with ads. And then the monetization status will either be green with a white money symbol, which means it is monetized or a yellow one, which means that it has been demonetized. So if you want to make money from your videos, this little icon here needs to show as green. As you can see here in my video manager, uh, if we go down my video list, we can see the videos that I have monetized do indeed have that green icon that says monetize monetized and uploaded. And so that's it. That's how you link your YouTube channel to your AdSense account. It's remember the, the hangups that people normally have are, uh, well, why didn't I get paid? Probably because either you didn't reach the threshold or you haven't set your payment method up yet. You need to do that. And again, if you're in different countries, your payment methods may be different, like Western Union or MoneyGram or whatever country you're in. You need to go to the Terms of Service page and read that. And speaking of Terms and Service, Terms of Service, I want to end this video by saying this. You need to go and Google. Google AdSense Terms of Service. Read everything there first before even running your first ad. The last thing you want to do, is sign up, go through this whole process, and get your AdSense account blocked. Google is tightening the reins uh, with every passing month, so make sure your content on your site is, uh, you know, approved by their Terms of Service, and you don't have anything against their policies. Uh, because if you do, they will revoke your privileges of starting and, and running ads through their system. And let's be real, people want to try to find new alternatives to an you know, a Google AdSense, but in reality, the Google AdSense platform is easy. It's uh, very intuitive. It looks good. And let's be real. That's where a lot more of the money is. So remember that. And then lastly, don't forget that uh, if you aren't of the age of 18 or above, and again, this may vary dependent on country, uh, you need to have your parent sign you up and then their information will be on your account and they can filter or funnel that money down to you however they see fit. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, by the way, put those in the comment section below. I'll get to those as quickly as possible. Um, if you're using the old version of AdSense, I have an older video. I'll link that uh, as well. Uh, and until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with people you think would find it helpful. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.